terror in Brussels. A coordinated attack at a crowded airport and a train station. And now police are searching for one of these three men they believe responsible for the loss of so many lives. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 5. Police say the man wearing white in that picture was able to escape the blast and get to safety. That's right, Devin. Here is what we know right now. The attacks happened at 8 a.m. local time. That would be 3 a.m. here. And there were two separate locations, one at the Malbeek Metro Station, the other at Zaventem Airport. Now, 31 people were killed in the attack, and ISIS has now claimed responsibility. Take a look at live pictures now. This is the scene in Brussels tonight as people gather at the metro station where one of these attacks occurred as they pay tribute to the lives that have been lost. Certainly our hearts and prayers go out to them. Our Kimberly Gill joins us now. She's live in the Satellite Center tonight where she's gathering information as it comes in. And Kimberly, we know Americans are usually everywhere. Any among the casualties today? Carmen and Devin, good evening to you. Yes, we have learned that several Americans are a part of the injured in this attack, including uh, some missionaries who were from the city of Utah, as well as an American family serving in the U.S. military. And officials tell us that those numbers could go even higher. It started with two explosions in the departures terminal outside airport security checkpoints. About an hour later, another explosion at a subway station near a number of European Union offices. Both attacks happened during the morning rush. We felt uh, a small blast of air and uh, we heard some thudding in the distance. President Obama addressed the situation in Belgium as he spoke this morning in Havana. We will do whatever is necessary to support our friend and ally Belgium in bringing to justice those who are responsible. Belgian police confirmed that these three men on surveillance video pushing luggage carts through the airport are considered the suspects. They believe the two men dressed in black may have died when the bombs exploded. The other man is still on the run. While searching for him, Belgian police found a nail-packed bomb, chemicals, and an ISIS flag in the raids, but still no sign of the man in white. The terror happening just four days after the arrest of Salah Abdelslam, the last suspect sought in November's Paris attacks. Now, as for those Americans that I mentioned that were injured in this attack, we don't know a whole lot about their conditions, but we are learning uh, that a former Oakland University basketball player who is from Belgium was also hurt in these attacks. And we're going to have more on his story and how he's doing coming up in our 6 o'clock newscast. For now, we are live tonight in the SAT Center. Kimberly Gill, Local 4. Now, Kimberly, what about scheduled flights to and from Brussels tonight? What are they suggesting you do if you're on one of those? Yeah, you know, Carmen, the, the area's transportation system is largely on lockdown at this point. So if you are headed there on a flight, I would certainly suggest that you contact your airline first. All right, some good advice. Our Kimberly Gill reporting for us live.